Welcome back boys and girls, welcome back to episode number 6 of this mini course series on Chakra UI. If you are following up with the Git repo that you can get access to from the description, if you check out the commit that starts with episode number 6, you will see this very simple component in the list page. Now, I want to use this component as an example of how Chakra UI handles responsive design and how easy it is to handle responsive styles in Chakra UI. Now what we have here is like an example of a project that I've done a long time ago. And in that project, what we have is some kind of a list of, um, of features of the app, the landing page app. Uh, it's an app, a landing page of an app. So these are the features of the app and it's just a mock, so it doesn't really show much. But you know this, it's a very typical kind of design pattern where you have uh, a flex box that shows everything in the row. And what you want is that when it comes to smaller screens, you need to really change that to become in, um, in a column. Now, in the normal way you would do that is you probably have to write your own uh, styles, your media queries. And for media queries, you have to specify, you write four media queries for different devices and so on. And it's usually a pain in the ass. However, with Chakra UI, it is very simple to do um, to do responsive design. So while right now we have a flex, and inside that flex there are uh, three different other flexes. Each of these flexes have the image and has a box that uses uh, has two text: one text for the main point and another text for some kind of a description that goes with it. So you can imagine this whole thing being a flex and inside that there is a flex uh, again and that flex has an icon and then another div or a box that uses one text there and one text there. So that main flex that contains everything right now in, is in direction of row. Now the way you handle responsive design with, uh, with Chakra UI is that you pass an array of values that will be applied to whatever property you want to work with and that array will have four values the first value is the base value and this value gets applied to the smallest devices which is going to be phones now 400 pix 480 pixels and upward that will apply to smaller tablets and landscape phones so you specify that the width in this case is going to be 100% in the phones, but it's a bit less if the if you have more real um, screen state. And then 768 pixels and upwards, that applies to iPads and tablets and, and so on. That's the normal iPad. And the last one really applies to, um, to, to laptops. And this also applies to, I don't think any uh, small laptops will fit there, but probably all the laptops will go there. But you get the idea. This is very simple and this is based on uh, mobile first. So you specify the base which is applied to mobile and then you scale everything up or scale it down, whatever you want to do. But the base is whatever gets applied to mobile. And what's good about this is that you can apply this methodology to anything in Chakra UI. So you can have responsive font sizes, you can have responsive margin, you can have responsive padding, whatever it is, Chakra UI got you covered. So what I will do here is I'll go back into my code and I will literally use the same pattern here. So I will pass in um, an array and that array will have the direction as column and another one column. So in phones will be columns and in tablets um, our, and landscape, landscape phones will also be columns. And then in the last two big um, fields there, I will make sure it's raw. So here is row and here is also row. Okay, let's save that and go back to see what we get. So now if I minimize this, the screen, and I can see that there. So yeah, on smaller devices, this will turn out to be in the column orientation, which is exactly what we want. But now we have another issue, which is the fact that right there, we are leaving a lot of empty spaces around here. And this is probably devices where you want to use all the space because the screen is small. And also when you go up to that edge case right there, things are really, really mushed around. To fix this, I have a width here, but that width will now need to change based on what device uh, this is being viewed from. So and I will keep it at 70. So you can see here, if I go back to my biggest device, 70 is good. I go smaller, it's still okay. So these are the two first one. 
the two last uh, the two last ones here row uh, row and row here so 70 is okay with the first one but then when you go back down there i think that's a bit too much so we can change that to 90 so i'm going back i'm going backwards this time but this one will be 90 view width and i'll keep keep that 90 everywhere else so for the smaller smaller devices we will also fill most of the screen state with that um with that um with the colon flexbox if i save this right now and go back here i can see this is working right there and again once i go back a little bit smaller this will expand to 90 view width and if i go smaller we'll still keep that 90 view width but then that would turn back into uh column orientation which fits perfectly with the design uh intention that we have for a very simple list like that i think this uh, concludes this series. I think this is a very quick rundown on what you can do with Chakra UI. I urge you to go to Chakra UI website and explore. There is a lot more components that you can see and all the components that are very very well uh, documented and you can see so many things that you can learn and do with this uh, component library. I think it's rising to be one of my favorites now. Uh, and yeah, just take a look at it and thank you for uh, watching the series and I hope you have learned something new and take care. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.